Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan, this is. Hi, I'm Jelly. And uh, we want to welcome you to our meditations as we're working through some just select passages out of 2 Corinthians. Today we're in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, Tyler. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke, we also believe and therefore speak. All right, so having the same spirit of faith, well, the same spirit of faith is one. Well, this, I mean, this goes to the apostles, this goes to um, the church, but the bigger picture here is Jesus. The same spirit of faith that Jesus had is the same spirit of faith that we have. What we believe, that's what we speak. Whatever spirit of faith we have, some people have faith in fear, and so they're always speaking the spirit of fear. Some people have uh, faith in, in things of the world, and they're always speaking the faith of the world. And, and I don't know who said this, Tyler, but I've got it written at the top of my page as a reference to this. Your faith must have enough power to move your lips before it will ever have enough power to move your mountains. Most of what you speak in relation to the things of the kingdom of God is fear, doubt, and unbelief. Those are all the opposite of faith. This is why we can't receive more from God. This is why we're not pleasing to God. Because Hebrews eleven six says, Without faith it is impossible to please Him. And so you say, But brother, I've got faith. No, you don't. As we have believed, therefore we speak. Your words tell me what kind of faith you have. And when your words disagree with the word of God, you don't have godly faith. When your words undermine what God says or disagree with it, you don't believe that God is true. That's why James says, let the one who asks do it without wavering because whoever wavers will receive nothing from God. So, other thoughts, my brother? No, sir. All right. The number I'm Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. We bid you a good day.